what happens in rhabdomyolysis this is the muscle what you are having we'll take one fiber of the muscle what you are having it has broken down because of the broken edges calcium gets deposited over the broken edges of the muscle fiber and this is a cell intracellular potassium phosphate and sulfate will come out so potassium coming out that is going into extracellular space going into intravascular volume will result in, in hyperkalemia high potassium levels phosphate and sulfate presence high level in the intravascular space will cause metabolic acidosis this leads to metabolic acidosis what happens to the water water gets sequestrated that is enters into the cell so can resulting in hypovolemia this broken down muscle should be excreted through the kidney so it goes into the kidney gets stuck there getting stuck in the kidney will result in an acute kidney injury few of this muscle fibers will get excreted in the urine so urine will appear in dark in color it looks like an hematuria but it is not hematuria it is because of secretions of muscle fibers this is nothing but myoglobinuria what you are looking for myoglobinuria is present because of this there is reddish color urine okay if you do an urine dipstick test it will be positive it will not be able to differentiate from rbc's from that of the myoglobin so it will come as positive in an case of rhabdomyolysis you need to think this is myoglobinuria what you are having here to summarize here muscle fibers are broken down broken down muscle fibers calcium gets deposited there resulting in low calcium levels what is intracellular will come out because this cell is broken down the potassium will come out resulting in hyperkalemia phosphate and sulfate will come out resulting in metabolic acidosis water gets sequestrated into this broken down muscle this broken down muscle needs to be excreted so it goes to the kidneys in kidneys it gets stuck resulting in acute kidney injury some of the myoglobins gets excreted in the urine giving a high color urine if you do an urine dipstick it might come positive because it will not be able to differentiate from an rbc to that of the muscle tissue this is nothing but myoglobinuria what you are having so most of the things hypovolemia because of sequestration here and metabolic acidosis because of release of phosphate and sulfate from the broken down tissue aki we are aware of it can also 